It looks like any other truck that just happens to have a private car very close behind it. But what is unique is that this truck is a lead vehicle for a platoon. The car in this platoon drives autonomously and communicates wirelessly with the truck. After more than a year and a half's concentrated work, these proud researchers here at Volvo's test track outside Gothenburg are able to unveil the embryo to what at some time in the future will be a road train. The lead vehicle is driven by a human driver and we're monitoring how the driver is driving. So we're looking at steering wheel angle and at speed and accelerations. And those signals are measured and communicated to the cars which are behind. And these cars which are following are driving autonomously. So they're trying to copy what the truck driver has done. But at the same time, we're using sensors in the vehicles that measure distance between the vehicles. So we have an extra mechanism for keeping a safe distance between the vehicles. The goal of this EU project is to make tomorrow's traffic both safer and more environmentally sound. As a driver within a road train, the idea is, in fact, to be able to both read the newspaper and eat breakfast at 90 kilometers an hour. Uh, this is uh, unusual, I would say. This is very unusual, but on the other hand, the, the fact that the car just follows the car in front is not so unusual because it's, that's very much like an adaptive cruise control. But the fact that you don't have to look at the road and this car can steer automatically, that's... I'm not comfortable yet. So it's, it's maybe probably like ACC, that's something you have to get used to and you have to trust the system. Researchers see a great potential in this project, even if there are still many difficult problems to solve. Not least of all, legal ones. In this case, I think the, the, the major problem, or the main problem, could be the authorities, because uh, we have a, a lot of legal issues to, to solve, and uh, there is a lot of uh, 25 uh, governments in Europe, no? so it could be a problem. This whole project is known as SART, or Safe Road Trains for the Environment, involving seven research companies from four European countries. And despite the fact that they now know that everything works, it's going to take several years before they will have a solution that is safe and that can be accepted by both authorities and motorists throughout the whole of Europe. We will continue improving the safety in the lead truck because all the following vehicles in the road train will benefit from the safety in the lead truck. I think with this technology, with the patrolling system, we can improve the comfort for the driving and also improve the safety and also we can uh, reduce the fuel uh, consumption. So this is a very interesting, very exciting and very useful technology. The next stage for the researchers now is to connect more cars to the road train. And the cars will also travel considerably closer together and at greater speeds. Researchers also believe that it will take both time and training before motorists trust and accept the system. In the beginning it's very hard to trust the car to be, for example, at 10 meters, which is still more than we aim to. And you're prepared to inter interfere any time, you try to, you try to think, you basically don't trust the system. But after some time you learn that you can uh, rely on it, that it's able to take you through the corner and you even forgot your driving. Let's, let's go and... I think the potential is, is huge uh, in terms of improving traffic safety, improve in, in terms of improving fuel economy, but also uh, um, offering our customers a way of transportation where you don't have to drive, where you don't have to sit in, in traffic queues and just uh, pay attention all the time. You can do something else with your time and I think that's very, uh, very nice for our customers. <laughs>